12 years to the day since Ryan Nelson led the All-Whites out at Rustenburg and Winston Reid headed home a late equaliser against Slovakia to earn our country's first ever World Cup point. And exactly 40 years since New Zealand's first ever game and first ever goals at a Football World Cup against Scotland in 1982. The All-Whites class of 2022 takes their final step towards a third appearance at the greatest footballing show on earth. Bill Tibiloma grew up in Otahuhu. Joined the Birkenhead Club at the age of seven. He's got some more defending to do now, as do New Zealand. Into the area, Campbell! And it's found its way in! It's the worst possible start for New Zealand. As the ball came in, Joel Campbell was the man. And his angled shot didn't have a lot of power, but enough direction to beat Ollie Sale and Costa Rica into a 1-0 lead early. There's plenty of defensive cover, but Joel Campbell shows the pace that he's got, gets in front and just tucks that one away in the corner. Oli Sale, no chance. This one's aimed for Chris Wood. Nods it back into the path of the on-rushing Alex Grieve. Just wide from Grieve. Hands to the head of the St Mirren striker. Navas beaten. The post beaten. Lovely ball from Chris Wood here. Just drops that one off. Slip in the box and Alex Grieve just pulls his shot across the face of goal and beyond the far post. Bell just loses his bearings on the edge. Wood is there. Here's Alex Grieve again. Kerwin. Cushion down. Now Garbutt. Well, the chances are coming for New Zealand. Matthew Garbutt just skewing his shot, but New Zealand providing some hope and some positivity for the fans around Aotearoa. Yeah, Costa Rica, very, very defensive in their approach at the moment. And it's allowing New Zealand to get bodies forward, bodies in the box. And this is something completely different to what we saw against Peru. Good energy, good intent from New Zealand. Ballon, what? Saved by Navis in the first attempt and the second. Navis came up big there to deny Chris Wood twice. But again, we see New Zealand's attacking intent, the chance creation. But there's going to be Lewis to deliver. He does aim for Wood. Wood brings it down. And as he pushed in the area, referee's right there. VAR will have a look at it. He's done really well. Just to drop off his man. Now control the ball away from him. Get position on him. He's gone down very easily. Gets a, does get a nudge in the back. But there is contact there. That's poor panic defending from Contreras. Coming from the front line to defend the set piece. And made an absolute meal of it. So regardless of whether or not this will be given to the All-Whites, which I don't think it will, another example of where Chris Wood is getting space in the box despite the fact that there are numerous Costa Ricans around him. Nice ball from Panica into Garbutt. Gets away from his man, Matt Garbutt. Looks up, sees Kakachi off on a run, ignores him. Instead, it's into where Wood is. Chris Wood! New Zealand level in Doha! And it is their main man, Chris Wood, who tucks it home after industry from Garbutt. A mistake in the area from Costa Rica. Elation for New Zealand. They are level here. And Chris Wood celebrates in front of the Kiwis. Aren't they ecstatic? Look at Kikache, a couple of choice words there. Navas doesn't like it, but Kikache won't care. VAR are checking. Not sure what for, though. It was the ball, the ball down here is pushing and shoving, and now they're looking at this saying, did Matt Garbutt pull over no. the Costa Rican player? No, Fred, absolutely not. He's got a hand on his thigh there, but this is a 50-50. Absolutely. I think this, this is... If this is overturned, this will be a shocking decision. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure why we're having numerous looks at this. Well, to me, that's a travesty. That is terrible intervention from VAR. I'm sorry. Sucking a few seconds out of the game. 
is the goal scorer, Campbell. And the referee, who had a central part to play in this first half, brings the first period to a close. Joel Campbell scored in the third minute for Costa Rica, and since then, it's been all New Zealand. Costa Rica, though, lead it 1-0 at half-time. Ben Wayne also into the action. He was a ball boy at the 2015 Under-20 World Cup that Bill Tuiloma captain New Zealand in. Here come Costa Rica, though. Not enough on that one from Contreras to trouble Oli Sane. Someone needs to, to find that little, that little spark that'll get New Zealand back in the game. Barbarossa just misses his touch, and then the foul on Francisco Calvo, and that'll be a yellow card for Costa Barbarossa. Born out of frustration, perhaps, that his touch wasn't all he hoped it would be. Now, they're going to have a look at this, are they, as to whether perhaps this deserves Please. an upgrade. This can only be Please. for a possible red card. And Costa Barbarossa is in the gun here for this tackle. Awarded a yellow. They're going to have a look at that and make a decision on whether that needs to be upgraded to a red card. It's on the ankle and it's just above the ground. Oh, no. No, no. For the second no, time no. this evening, the VAR and the referee have made a crucial decision between them. Costa Barbarossa's has been sent off here. Disbelief tinged with anger from Winston Reid, a philosophical Danny Hay, a crestfallen Costa Barbarossa's who'd only really just arrived. He's adjudged to have committed a red card offence with that challenge on Francisco Calvo. So, disappointment, obviously, for New Zealand, frustration, even more frustration with the officiating. Good save by Sale from Contreras there. As play got back underway, man down is Heineker, I think, for New Zealand. And they're surrounding the referee, led by their captain, Winston Reid, who simply can't believe some of the decisions that have been made here. And Winston Reid has been shown a yellow card for his remonstrations. And if they're not careful, this could get out of hand a little bit for New Zealand. The frustration is understandable, perhaps. But now New Zealand, they have, they have to, obviously, they have to pick themselves up and they have to try and get, get things going with 10 men. Here's Wood. Acrobatic effort from Chris Wood. The cross was good from Nick Kerwin. And, and I think they're capable of doing it. Chris Wood, good physicality, still there for New Zealand. Wood brings Kerwin in. Vital intervention from Waston in there. Lewis, a ping with the left foot from Lewis, what a save from Navis. Plucks it out of the top corner, it's going in from Clayton Lewis, Navis the equal of it. Lovely strike from Clayton Lewis. Picked up a really good position right side of the penalty area. So he can get it on his left foot and try and bend that one in the far corner. Has to be a great shot to beat this man, though. Eli just in a pocket of space. Here's Chris Wood. Is this the moment? Straight at Navis. Yeah, great work from Just. Get in these areas, turn, face forward, slip the ball in behind. Chris Wood, I think he had more time than uh, than he thought. Could have taken a touch there. Staminich and now Payne again. Shapes to cross. Eli Just. They're spurning the opportunity to launch it in. Now they do to Chris Wood. It's there for Wood. Chris Wood can't get the contact on it. And that felt like it was tailor-made for Chris Wood there. Doing what he's done all game long. Dropping off shoulders. Gets his chest onto that, gets the ball down, but just can't get the contact. 
right there for the big man. One last chance for the All Whites. Bell's delivery is good. And punched away by Navas. Sale's got to sprint back. It's there for Eli Just, who's got to recycle. He plants it in. Navas comes and over the top of a couple of players, the firm two fists. That's good goalkeeping from Navas, commanding the entire penalty area, taking no prisoners, coming right through the back of a, his own player and also one of the all-white players. Yellow card dished out to Brian Luiz that time. Everybody fought for New Zealand. Everybody back for Costa Rica. One final chance. Bell has it. All eyes on the referee. Still time to play. Man down in the area. Eli just. Away by Waston. Heartbreak in Doha for New Zealand. Or is it? It is now. The All Whites come up one step short of a World Cup appearance. An early Costa Rica goal. A chalked off New Zealand equaliser. A red card for Costa Barbarousas. Desolation and despair for New Zealand. Delirium and delight for Costa Rica.